guys. So I want to demonstrate how to take a URI that you get from Google Analytics and turn it into a full URL. So I pulled this landing page report from Google Analytics and I need to run it through Screaming Frog to get the titles and descriptions. But before I can run it through Screaming Frog, I need to convert these URIs, which is just a URL without the subdomain, into full URLs. Now, in our case, I know that these are all coming from one subdomain, our www subdomain. So the solution is pretty simple to add the domain or the subdomain to the URL. If you have multiple subdomains, then you need to take an extra step, which I demonstrate in another tutorial. But for us, all I need to do is put HTTP colon And now I can just concatenate these. So I just put an equal sign, reference this, and now I need to lock this down because I'm going to take this formula and I'm going to drag it down to the entire column. I'm actually going to double click because it's faster. But when I drag this down, if I don't lock this down, then F1 is going to in this cell turn to F2 which is blank and then in this cell it's going to turn to F3. So the way to do that on the PC is with the F4 key on a Mac it's command T. So if I just press command T it automatically locks in all directions so what this means so just picture the dollar signs as locks. So this is saying I want to stay in column F and that's more relevant if I were dragging this across. I'm just dragging it down so it's not as essential. But it is very essential that we keep this in row 1. So if I just kept pressing Command T or F4 on the PC, then this would just lock the row but leave the column open. And there are times you want to do that. Like I said, if you need to click and drag the formula across and you want it to update as you move across columns but not down the rows then that's what you would choose and that's just the converse that's if I only wanted to lock the column but I wanted the rows to update we'll use this one and now I just put the ampersand character which is the concatenate character in Excel and then I can reference this cell here I typically will use the arrow keys, but the arrow keys are a lot easier to use on the PC than the Mac. And now I'll just hit enter. And now I have the full URL. Now if I just double click on this bottom right hand corner where you see this little icon, it will apply that formula to this entire column. And with everything still selected, you want to press Command or Control C to copy and then just go ahead and press Command or Control V to paste. And when this little icon here shows up, choose Values Only. Now we just have values. They're not formulas anymore. So while it's still selected, just press Command or Control X to cut. Come over here and paste. So I just never let it deselect. I just, while the marching ants are around that selection, I just copy paste, choose paste as values, cut, and then dump it back into the original column.